Let's go into today's featured free game of the day, and I'm in love with this pick. And I said this a little while ago as well, and it burned me. Um, it's the Reds and the Brewers. Cincinnati's plus 205 tonight when they head to Milwaukee to take on the Brewers, who are minus 225. This game can be found on Apple TV+. Plus. First pitch slated for 8.10 p.m. Eastern. And I think this game has trap written all over it for the Brewers. Milwaukee is 2-13 and straight up this season against National League teams who struggled to get on base. They're 7-20 and straight up this season after losing four of their last five. And Cincinnati is 9-3 and straight up when they're avenging a three-game sweep over the last two seasons. All that's to say, I think the Brewers are in for a rude awakening tonight. They've lost their last four. They come into this one limping a little bit. Meanwhile, Cincinnati's four and one over their last five. They had one four, they had one four straight games, and their only loss, which came in their last game, was against Sandy Alcantara. And if you've listened to DRF Sportsbook Daily consistently, you know how much I love Sandy Alcantara. And I think he's going to win every single game that he pitches. I ride Sandy every single time that he gets the start. The only thing that gives me a little bit of hesitation tonight in picking Cincinnati at such a hefty underdog, it's the fact they're starting um, Robert Duggar. Robert Duggar was acquired in the Luis Castillo trade um, at the deadline between the Reds and the Mariners. He's being called up from the minors tonight. He has a 4-5 ERA in the MLB, and this will be his first start of the season. He's facing off against Eric Lauer, a lefty who has a 7-3 record with a 3-7-5 ERA. But what then it lets me step back and have a little bit more faith. Cincinnati's 20 games under 500, and against left-handed pitchers, they're just six games under 500. Not only that, they have better stats across the board in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage. So Pair it with the fact that Milwaukee struggles against bad teams this season. Pair that with the fact that Cincinnati is pretty good at avenging sweeps. Pair that with the fact that Cincinnati has a better overall statistical statistics and record against lefties. I think Eric Lahr, who does have a sub-4 ERA, which is pretty respectable with a solid 7-3 and three record, I think Robert Duggar may have a little bit of something in him. I also used the exact opposite of this logic yesterday in the White Sox Rangers pick. I believe the Rangers kind of did the same thing, called up a guy and gave him his first MLB start. The Rangers ended up winning that game by a run. I was all over the White Sox. So uh, that game kind of burned me, so I'm flipping my logic and going Reds in this one. Plus, Reds at plus 205 just feels like... Like it, it, it's it's daring me to take it, and I'm going to take that dare. It's double dog daring me, and I'm like, you know what? I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll fall for this. Um, but I just think it's a trap for the Brewers. Not only that, our power line puts this one at minus one ninety five for the Brewers. Still favors Milwaukee, but that's just a little bit of a too much of a discrepancy there for me to jump on Milwaukee with all the betting angles, all the recent trends, all the historic trends going in favor. Of the Reds. Don't look at the game simulator though. Let's uh let's block that out. Don't look at that. Our game simulator thinks the Brewers win this one eight to four. That's bad. Um, if that happens, I'm sorry. But I, I have faith in the Reds tonight at plus 205. So thank you so much for tuning in to DRF Daily. Before we get up on out of here, of course, we got to do our best bets recap. Uh the we had five bets open yesterday because of the postponement of Cardinals Cubs. Um, game one, game two, Cardinals won both of those. Overall, though, we were just three in two um, yesterday because White Sox Rangers bit us in the bud and a few other things. But our best bets for today, Friday, August 5th, are as followed Yankees. Minus 145 against the Cardinals. Tale of two teams, right? Cardinals come in red hot, 6-1 and one over their last seven. Yankees kind of limping. But I think New York, who has dominated this series so far this season, they swept the Cardinals earlier in the year. They get back right, minus 145. Give me New York. You're not going to see them at that type of number too much as this season goes on. Over seven runs in Angels-Mariners. I think the Mariners win this game, but I have more faith that the over is going to hit than I have in the Mariners winning. Both of these teams kind of come in limping a little bit. Mariners did just pick up a series win against the Yankees, so maybe things are starting to turn around. But they're still three and four over their last seven. 
Uh, both of these pitchers have a tendency to give up some runs. Both of these teams perform fairly well against left-handed pitching. Give me the over seven in Angels Mariners. Reds, Brewers, this is an upset pick of the day. Maybe it's of the week. Reds plus 205 against the Brewers. The Brewers have too much against them in terms of historical trends for me to be on Milwaukee tonight at minus 225. For that reason, I'm going to go full upset. I'm going to be all the way in on the Reds at plus 205. So thank you so much for tuning in to DRF Daily. As always, please follow us on Twitter, on all social medias at DRF Sportsbook. We'd be greatly appreciative. I hope this Friday MLB slate treats you all well. I hope this weekend slate of uh, English Premier League, of more MLB action, of all of this fantastic betting stuff that's coming up this weekend. I hope all that treats you well, and I hope you have a profitable weekend. We'll be back next Monday. The Iowa State Fair starts next week. We have so much exciting stuff coming down the pipe. Can't wait for y'all to check it out. Have a wonderful weekend. See ya.